Okay, finally, we have finished this big issue, issue 1, in this artifact-crud branch. Next, let's commit and push the code to the GitHub repository. Git status. As you can see, there are a lot of files on track, and we also made some modifications to these three files palm.xml, the main application class, and application.properties. Okay. Git add all git status. Okay. Now we're tracking all the files. Clear. Git commit. Artifact crud done. Here we also want to associate this commit to issue one and close it. So let's include the issue number here in the commit message. Close issue number one. Clear. Git status. Nothing to commit. Working tree clean. Now let's push this branch to the remote repository on GitHub. But before that, we need to do one more thing. This is just a one-man project. I am the only developer. Now think about this scenario. I'm working on a big team with many developers. What if during my development of this user story or issue, somebody else on my team working on the same project made changes and pushed to the remote repository? So it is very possible that the latest main branch in the remote repository is different from the one I have in the local repository. I have to make sure that my local repository's main branch is in sync with the main branch in the remote repository. And here's how we do that. Git switch dash. Now we're switching back to the previous branch, which is the main branch. After switching, take a look at the project. You will find that we're back to step one. It is like a time machine. All the changes we made are gone. This is normal because we are now in a different branch. The main branch is far behind our artifact-crud branch. Now, let's make sure that our main branch is in sync with the main branch in the remote repository. Clear. We're going to use git pull. We use git pull to pull any changes made to the main branch during my local development. Well, in this case, since I'm the only guy on the team, there won't be any change at all, already up to date. But if you work in a team environment, this may not be the case. But anyway, after git pull, we are sure that our local main branch is in sync with the remote main branch. Now, let's switch again back to artifact-crud branch. Git switch. Now, as you can see, everything's back. Let's merge this branch with the local main branch so that artifact-crud branch will receive the changes from the remote main branch. Well, in this case, there's no change. Git merge main. As you can see, already up to date. But I just want to show you the correct Git workflow. Once you finish one feature branch, remember, step one, switch to local main branch. Step two, 
pool changes from the remote main branch. Step 3. Switch back to the feature branch. Step 4. Merge changes from the local main branch into the feature branch. Now, we finally can push this artifact-crud branch to the remote repository. Clear? Git push. Well, as you can see here, the current branch, artifact-crud, has no upstream branch. That's fine. The first time you push your feature branch to a remote repository, you have to use dash u or this dash dash set dash upstream. So let's copy this and run it again. Now we have successfully pushed the local branch artifact dash crud to the remote repository. Now there are two branches in the remote repository, main and artifact dash crud. Let me toggle over to my GitHub repository. As you can see here, artifact dash crud had recent pushes less than a minute ago. Okay, if you refresh, if you click main, as you can see now, there are two branches in this remote Git repository. So let's click this artifact dash crud. As you can see, if I go to SRC, main, we have artifact, system, wizard, packages. So this is the code that we had in our local branch. Right now, it's also available on this remote branch. OK, let's go back to code. Now here it says, artifact-crud had recent pushes five minutes ago. Do you want to compare and create a pull request? Sure. I want to merge this artifact-crud branch to the main branch. Then I can safely delete this artifact-crud branch. Click. It says, able to merge. These branches can be automatically merged. It means GitHub didn't detect any conflicts. It is ready to merge artifact-crud branch into the main branch. And of course, when you open a pull request, you can leave a comment. For example, it is really fun. I followed TDD approach. If you work in a team environment, it is highly recommended to assign this pull request to some reviewers so that they can code review or eyeball your code like this. In this case, I'm the only guy, so there are no reviewers. Code review is extremely important. It allows for discussion of proposed changes and helps ensure that the changes meet the repository's contributing guidelines and other quality standards. In my opinion, code review is as important as unit testing. Repository administrators can require that all pull requests receive a specific number of approving reviews before someone merges the pull request into a protected branch, for example, the main branch. They can also require approving reviews from a dedicated developer, for example, the tech lead or the project manager. So again, in practice, Please make sure you assign this pull request to some reviewers and let them review your code before the pull request is merged. It is very important. OK, now let's create pull request. This pull request, or PR, has been created. But I want to remind you that this branch, artifact-crud, is not merged to the main branch yet. Well, since I'm the only guy on the team, I'm wearing two hats, the committer and the person who has the authority to allow merging pull requests. If you work on a software development team, the reviewers must carefully review the code 
before approving the merge. So let's click this issue number and see the details of this commit. As you can see, this pull request is associated with issue number one. And here we have finished all five user stories, which is very good. Let's click here. This is the commit hash code. Okay. As you can see, here list all the changes we made in this one commit. It's showing 23 changed files with 1,198 additions and one deletion compared with the previous commit. So let's briefly go over the changes. As you can see here in the palm, we added a new dependency, Spring Boot Starter Validation, so that we can use at not empty at valid. Now scroll down. So this is the main application class. We added ID worker. So this artifact of Java is new. Everything here is new. As you can see, this is green. We have all those plus signs. Let's take a look at artifact controller. This is also new. Everything is new here. And here is a service. Now, the good thing about GitHub pull request is that reviewers, remember, now I'm wearing the hat of the reviewer. The reviewer can see those changes and can make comments. For example, here, I can insert a comment for line 33. Why append? an empty string and click add single comment. You also can select multiple lines by dragging and give the multiple lines a comment. Just drag and comment. If the reviewer finds any problems, they will add comments like what I just did and ask the committer to fix them before the pull request is merged. They all belong to the same pull request. I really like this pull request idea since it stores all the history of discussions about this feature in one place. So it's easier to refer back to a discussion. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go back to the pull requests and click Merge Pull Request. Confirm Merge. And of course, you can leave a comment here. Confirm Merge. Pull request successfully merged and closed. You're all set. This artifact crud branch can be safely deleted. Some companies will delete all the feature branches once they are merged. They only maintain one main branch, but I will keep it here just for reference. Then let's go to issues. Now we only have four open issues. One issue is closed. So if we click here, you can see this is the closed issue. Click. Here are the five user stories. This closed issue is associated with one commit and one pull request. And you can click it to view the commit that closes this issue and all the discussion and the conversation about this commit. This is really great. So one is down and four more to go. Let's go back to IntelliJ. Before we work on the next issue, let's make sure that our local main branch is in sync with the main branch in the remote repository. Right now, the remote main branch is far away ahead of the local main branch. 
So let's switch git switch main git status. Now here it says your main branch is up to date with origin slash main. In other words, with the remote main branch. Well, we know that is not true because we just merged the pull request to the main branch in the remote repository. The local repository does not know the remote main branch has been changed. Then what should we do? We should use git pull. It turns out that git pull combines two commands, git fetch and git merge. Since you have already seen git pull, this time, let me use git fetch and then git merge. So first, git fetch. Git fetch updates your remote tracking branches. In this case, it updates the origin slash main branch. So now Git knows that the local main branch is not up to date. So if I type Git status again, now you'll see that we get a different result. It says your local branch is behind origin slash main by two commits and it can be fast forwarded. It also gives us a solution. Use git pull to update your local branch. So we can either use git pull or let me show you git merge. Git merge merges the changes to our local main branch. So now our local main branch is in sync with the remote main branch. As you can see, your branch is up to date with the remote main branch, which is origin slash main, nothing to commit, working tree clean. Now, as you can see, if I refresh this, our local main branch also has these three packages, artifact, system, wizard. It also has the two test classes. Great. At this moment, it is safe to delete the artifact-crud feature branch, but I will leave it there for your reference. I hope now you have a better understanding of the Git workflow. Next, let's move on to the next issue. I will see you in the next video.